should draw a little bit. Are you working the ball like on every shot, moving it one way or the other? Or? You know, quite honestly, yeah. when I'm actually trying to work a ball, the pin on 17 at the Players' Championship, far right on 17, for, for me to set up at that pin and think draw, my brain gets crossed up. Okay, right. Generally, I will play my stock shot under pressure, yeah. but standing up to that pin, aiming even a little left of it and thinking draw, that crosses my brain up. Yeah. Because when I miss hit a draw, I kind of push it out to the right a it little It never bit. comes back, yeah. Right. I don't manufacture ball flights. I change ball position and distance from the ball to create shots. Okay. So like, if you understand the tendencies of what different setups will create, a ball further back will have a tendency to start your path more right. Your brain will con compensate by rolling the club a little bit. So the further back you put the ball with the same swing, you'll generally get a start line more to the right and more curvature to the left. The same is true with the ball further forward. So in my mind, my stock shot, I've got my, my ball position, yeah. which I got a six iron here, gonna be like about right there. Okay. If I wanna play a big draw, I'm gonna play it there. Mm -hmm. If I wanna play a fade, I'm gonna play it there. And in my mind, the swing will look different. Yeah. Just because of the ball position. Yeah, you're reacting to that. Right. Yeah. And you know, I might stand a little closer to it for a fade, a little further from it from a draw, a little closer to it for low, a little further so if we from could, it for if, high. Not to put you on the spot, no, but no. if we could, Monty, let's see a stock shot. Okay. And then follow that up with uh, with one of each. Sure. Whatever you feel like. <clears throat> this is a six iron for for Monty. is a stock ball position and yeah and that's falling left like you okay, said falling slightly left yeah. so I put right. a pretty good swing on that one yeah great divot okay yeah. so now I'm gonna play this one back yep so now what what shape are you putting on this one Monty this is the, this one should have a significant amount of curvature on it okay so so to do that you're putting it back in your stance a little more and are you standing further away from it too uh, just a touch just a touch just a touch it's more of a feeling of being further away Correct. than any actual Correct. Yeah. so this one should draw a little bit and there it is See, yeah. the start line was more right mm -hmm. took off a little lower yeah little and came back to center not not a monster draw but yeah, yeah i mean yeah. And it, but it turned significantly more than yep. the first one for sure and now here we now we have our fade so now you're 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 crowding it just a little bit and, and it's pretty it's pretty far forward and it's far forward in the stance it's okay. probably about a driver ball position yeah and you're going to do nothing else but react to where Not the, in the my, ball position in my mind I, yeah. i'm thinking same okay that's a great shot that is a great you know i'm sure if people slowed down those swings there's going to be significant differences there but in my mind my intents were the same yep and and you could see you know, I got the three ball flights that I said I would make. So that's all that really counts, right? Yep. Uh, I hurt my back on Sunday, so but it actually is an opportunity for me to show Monty my my uh, just parallel only swing, right? Where I'm just taking my left arm to parallel and I'm going through. Yeah, that's better than any swing I've seen you make. No. That's pretty good, no, though. I yeah, mean, yeah, it is. I like that one. What, what, I mean, especially if you're struggling, if you're injured, if, if, you're start, if your start lines are bad. Yeah. You know, if you're pulling, pushing. Yeah. That left arm parallel to the ground swing just teaches you, okay, from here to here, this is where I'm supposed to pull. I don't want to whack your GoPro there. Yeah. From here to here, this is where you're supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't take an expert on the golf swing to understand that lining up your body parts from here to here is easier than from here to there. The other thing is, is we all know that your violent lower body, you're not thinking kill, so, you yeah. know, your sequence is better.
Yeah, the irony is, is that's not that much shorter than your full swing goes. No, if you had your machine out here, I think it'd be it'd be maybe maybe yeah. maybe three quarters of a club shorter. Right, right. You know, I mean, what what do you got there? This is a five. Yeah, that's probably going just a hair. That's probably going like a hair longer than your six. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's which is funny. All right, we have uh, two more balls left here, Monty. Imagine, Monty, you have gone through two different stages, and now you're at Oakmont <laughs> later this summer, and uh, you're paired with a uh, resurgent Tiger Woods, a 40-year-old and resurgent Tiger Woods, and you're yes. on a par three on uh, Thursday. Yes. Uh, by some uh, freak dropout and other things you've been paired with <laughs> Tiger Woods. Anyway, so... Uh, so tell me, so, uh, imagine that we have a microphone inside your brain and you're under extreme pressure and you're going to hit a par three six iron shot here. Tell me uh, how far the hole is, first of all, uh, that you want to hit this six iron. I think six iron, like just, you know, n nothing special. It goes about 190, 195. So tell, tell us what you're thinking. Under a lot of pressure and you have to hit, you want to hit a good shot. Well, first I'd walk over to him and I'd say, your shoulder turns too vertical. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, no. Uh, I gave your caddy my card. You, you, you yeah. know, my, my biggest problem throughout my career was not course management. It wasn't the bad temper getting away from me, even though it did at times, but I actually, my biggest problem was is over the course of 72 holes, my mind wandered. Yeah. And I always performed the best when there was more pressure, when I was super, super focused. Yeah. Um, one year, you know, just to throw out, you know, pa 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 yeah. active brag. Glory here. days. One year, one year at the first stage of Q school, someone came out, to, you know, and said, I was on the 72nd hole, and they're like, okay, par five, you need to make eagle to make it on the number. Mm -hmm. So I needed to make eagle on 18, and I busted a drive, I hit a five iron on the green and rolled in a 15 footer. More often than not, those situations, the best display I ever put on with my driver, you know, accuracy and distance was when I got introduced to Arnold Palmer and he stood there and he goes, son, I hear you hit it pretty far. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so I, I have a tendency that that focus, I mean, of course, I've choked under pressure just like everybody else has. Yeah. But as a rule, I get more, more focused. That's more about what do you do when you're under pressure? Yeah. The best thing to do is forget you got to forget the what you know what's going on and just do hit this one shot as well as you can if you wipe it in the trees go find it and do that one better yep. so i would just step up and just say look i'm just going to hit this as well as i can that'd be a tv shot there that was a great one monty <laughs> You know, you said Tiger Woods. I even did the little, <laughs> yeah, the little you know, throw. Right in his sub face. Subconscious, How you know. How dare he? Yeah. On this video, you'll notice a little tab here, somewhere in one of these corners, that says donate. I really would appreciate if anybody did click that tab if you felt like this was helpful because some new expenses would come up with filming or whatever else, and it would help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to my channel, Be Better Golf. Subscribe to Monty's channel, Hit It Long. And also, you can find any other information about Monty at MontyShotGoon.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right, bye.